Hello and welcome to a CEO teacher. I'm your host Daud Waid. How do you increase your salary? Oh, you heard me right. I'm going to teach you how do you increase your salary. So wait, let me write a check for you first. So this is my check and let me sign it here. Nice. ICICI access any bank can do. So what's more interesting, writing a check or receiving one? Of course, if you are like me, a teacher, you of course would love to receive one. Net banking or NEFT would do fine. You know, what is it about paying our bills that's so difficult? Believe me, we pay bills for electricity, we pay the school fees, we pay for the groceries. If you are like me, Amazon shopper, you put online things. But believe me, at the end of the day, the thing that pinches us the most is paying the school bus fees. Really, it's all about thinking money in terms of proportion. I asked the CEO, what is the best time to ask for a salary hike? And he looked grim and then answered, the best time is when you don't ask at all. Of course, in our CEO teacher, we are learning about the world that is beyond the us. We think so, but then let's understand the dynamic that it works. Before even I ask you and hopefully I'll give you some suggestions and some points where you can increase your salary. Probably I'll give you my bank account number so you can share some of the one money that you win thanks to the advices you get. But really, what are the dynamics behind? Why would somebody want a salary hike? There is an amazing concept, the 3P concept. Pocket, power and position. Never ever run behind the three. Pocket of course refers to the money that we want to have. Who does not want to have money? There was a street beggar and he was of course going and asked for alms and somebody said, do you have a lot of needs? And he said, don't be all, don't be all, don't be all any needs, any aspirations, any dreams, perhaps a little more money I can buy that lovely toy my daughter wanted or take my family on a vacation or and spend enough time to buy books, travel around the world, visit the conferences. I really want to visit one in Goa, but that's way beyond my pocket. So what is it that we don't do right when our salaries don't increase? Here is an example. You see, we have not put the groundwork well when it comes to the ask of it. The most difficult thing ask any marketing person is the raising of it. The right moment when you ask for it. Until then it was all hunky-dory, all wonderful. I'll give you an analogy which is more relevant. Perhaps it will make you understand better. It's like the washing machine analogy. How do you wash clothes in a washing machine? Say you have a 35 kg front loading washing machine or it is equivalent to 15 clothes that you can dump in and you become a little greedy and you say one bed sheet is equal to 10 clothes why don't I put three what happens to your washing machine it conks clanks and stops maybe that is where we stop when we ask for salary hikes it's not bad to ask for money never ever has money been bad money is like a microscope it only magnifies what is inside your heart so it's like more like a magnifying glass. If your heart is evil, it magnifies evil. If your heart is good, it magnifies good. The ask is, why do you want the money? So let me give you three basic ground rules how to ask for a salary hike. Number one, number one, always acknowledge the salary. So you see, there'll be time in the year when you do performance appraisals. Your school will do it for you. You might be part of the management. You know, I was listening to a colleague who said the management does performance appraisal in August. So nobody leaves because of the academic year has just started. Of course, that's not very, very fair. But think about it. When you're told about your goods and the bads, when you're told about your PMI, the plus, minus and improvement, you don't have to argue then. Just acknowledge, appreciate that you've been given something and end the conversation. So number one rule is never negotiate during a performance appraisal. Acknowledge it. Number two, very important, think like a shareholder of the company. You see, when I buy stock market, when I buy shares of say Infosys or Reliance or Google for that matter, of course, I'm not going to Nasdaq, but in our own context, I don't say, will Reliance survive? Will Infosys go to the right height? I trust the company, I value them and then I buy the stock. You are a stockholder for your school. You are buying the shares and as a share market holder, you are actually doing everything in your capacity to increase the company's valuation. 
as JFK said very beautifully, don't ask what your country did for you, ask what you did for your school. Obviously, he didn't use the word school, but that's what a CEO teacher is about. What did you do to increase the potential of your school? It's amazing, isn't it? So in school, the marketing ends when the school starts. The only industry where you don't market further, you promote it, you brand it. How many things you have done in the school to improve your school's enhancement, performance, brand identity? And the last thing is when you go for a performance appraisal or for a salary negotiation, make a make to-do list. What have your achievements been in the past one year? This is something so valuable, something we've never thought of. I had my manager Ziad Zarka when I was working in intellectual property law firm and he said always write down three achievements that you did in the past six months. If you haven't done that, at least I'm sure you would have contributed to some annual day function. At least you would have made the school improvement. Maybe your discipline charts were very good. Your grade scores have gone up. Make a note of it. So the next time you go for the salary negotiations, remember these three coins and I hope your salary will have a new accent, a vertical growth. Number one, acknowledge the salary whenever it's given to you. Number two, think like a shareholder. And number three, make a to-do list of your achievements. Welcome to the world of a CEO teacher. I hope to listen to you. Please tweet, blog or write to me and we will have a lovely communication. Thank you so much. Good day.